I'm not going to butcher this guy's name. Here, let me mute this. But uh, Raymond, Raymond Muratala, uh, 135-pound contender, should go on to get a uh, unanimous decision victory over, I'm not going to butcher this guy's name, uh, and then Johnny. South African. You've seen him fight before. He fought Devin Heaney back in 2019, and he fought uh, Arnold Barboza on the undercard of Virgil Ortiz's return, uh, return uh, back in January. I'm T Street Controversy with Fight View 360. Uh, Maritala had one of those nights that all of our recent 135 pounders have had. Tiafima Lopez against uh, Junto Nakatani had a bad night. Um. Shakur Stevenson had a bad night. Frank Martin had a bad night. Tank Davis against Isak Cruz, I guess you could say, had a bad night. So this was, you know, I, I'm, I'm not, I guess what I'm saying is, I'm not judging Muratala off of this performance. If anything, this should be a bit of a wake-up call for him to get whatever he's got going on together because Tim Bradley kept talking about how, um, how, um, uh, he thinks he's has, he has weight issues. This fight took place at 137 pounds, by the way. Look at that. You know? And this is not the time for 19 and over 16 KOs to have weight issues. Or alleged potential weight issues. Especially now that he's in the mix in the division. Now, I gotta be honest. Um, he's good. Uh, but I'm not seeing anything special. I'm sorry. Him, I don't see. I don't see him as being a special fighter. I don't see him as being a. Uh, oh, and by the way, I do know that uh, Lopez versus Nakatani happened at um, one thirty-five, and To is at one forty. But I was just saying, um, I'm just not seeing anything. Yeah, he's got the razzle dazzle, you know, the fireworks. But I don't know. And he's twenty-seven years old. It's time. It's time. Let's listen into the cards. This is on the uh, undercard of. Oscar Valdez versus Liam Wilson. And we're going to talk about the 135 pound division and what I think it's going to be next. Let's turn it up, see what's going on. Your winner by oh, I got to rewind decision. it back. 20 seconds. Hold on. 98 score cards for the official decision. Here we go. After 10 rounds, Patrick Russell has it 99 91. Pat Russell. Chris Wilson, 98 92. And Esther Lopez, 97-93. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. Raymond Danger Murataya! So Raymond Murataya gets his 20th victory. And sometimes, Tim, it's about how you overcome adversity. I mean, I'm not going to say he was exposed or anything. You know, it's just that he just had a bad night. You know, this has been happening to our guys. This happens to every fighter at some point in time in their career. All the all the good ones. You know, from Mayweather Castillo. You know, it, it happens. It happens. It happens. So they go super bad. This shit about to get lit. Uh, anyway, let's go look at the rankings here. Murantala, he's now 20 and over with 16 KOs, 27 years old. Jeremiah Nakathila, he that was a that was a nice solid step up, you know, spectacular win for him. You know, but this is only the second decision since one in 2022. The last one before that was in 2018. So he's been, you know, couldn't get the uh, South African out of there. So let's go to look at the ranking. So here's what I'm seeing. Okay. Now you got Cambosos taking on Lomachenko on May the 12th. You got Emmanuel Navarrete taking on Dennis Baranchek. On uh, May the 18th, the week later. By the way, my colleague Big J is getting to this fight. I believe that it makes perfect sense. And knowing the way Top Rank does their matchmaking. As we can see Loma um, Cambosos winner take on Navarrete. Or they can go this way either with Shakira Stevenson. If it's true, he's going to fight this guy. The guy that uh, Frank Martin had issues with. This guy right here. So they can go either way right there. Now, me personally, I think that Loma's going to dispatch of uh, of uh, Kimbo, so it's probably even stopping making quit because when Loma comes off of a loss, you know, he goes out there on a rampage. Oh, shit, they on the way to the ring. Damn, they starting this quick. Good for them. Not a lot of filler. Um, so, 
me personally, I'm mean, I'm cool with Loma Kimball. So I mean, I'm cool with Loma versus Navarrete. That's going to be fun. And Loma versus Stevenson is going to be a chess match. And Loma still got it. So I can I think Loma can be secure, especially the way he looked in his last fight. And then you got uh, Tank Davis who's fighting Frank Martin in uh, June. It's looking like it's going to be in Houston or somewhere in Texas. You got William Cepeda who's now in the mix. Keyshawn Davis, I'm sorry, I said the same thing. Don't really see nothing special there either. Good fighter. I just don't I just don't see it yet. I'm not saying it's not in there when it comes to Maritala and Keyshawn Davis. I'm just not seeing it yet. I've been covering boxing for a long time on YouTube. And I gotta admit, I'm a little jaded. You know, like an old ass man is always better. You know, like you know the old ass man that like sitting out on his stoop and the kids come over to play and he's like, hey, get away from my car. Like that's how I am with boxing these days. Why can't I go and play over from Smiles house? If that basketball hit my window, I know your parents don't got the money to pay for it. But anyway, um, very still stacked division. I'm interested to see, you know, if Navarrete has bit off more than he can chew. Dennis Berenchek, he's not. I think that he's going to win, meaning um, uh, Navarrete. I forgot he's been uh, not active the last few years. I remember now. Okay. But uh, don't be surprised. He's 35 years old. Don't be surprised if um, if uh, Navarrete moving up to 135 bites off more than he can chew, especially since he's more on the smaller side of 135 pounders. He's going to be real soft and pudgy up there. That's what I think. No diddy. Just joking. But, yeah, you know, uh, let's see what's happen happening next for Maritala because his name has been linked to Shakur Stevenson, too. But don't be surprised if, like, he kind of dials it back a little bit. And then Maritala versus Keyshawn Davis, that's the way to go. Maritala versus Edwin Dos Santos, Dolo De Los Santos, if PBC will lend him back out again. Maybe. I think him fighting Maxi Hughes is a step back. Or see what's happening with the winner-loser of Berenchek uh, Navarrete. That's the way to go. Zaire Abaduliev, that's a, that's a way to go, too. There's fights out there for him. That's fight. You know, I just don't think that he's ready yet to be up there with the top dogs. He's one notch below the top dogs. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe on to the uh, co-feature.